This is what we're talking about here. These are the restaurants around um, India Street, right down here. You've probably been to this area before. It's called International Restaurant Row. And there is, it's tough to find parking down here. Well, there was a little bit of a spot here on Washington at the base of the street where there was some parking. They went in and they put a bike lane in. And I have um, Nikki here. I'm going to start with you. You're from Shakespeare's Pub. Good Hi. morning. Good morning. Yeah, we're a bit disappointed. We've just reopened after our room. Um, second state closure and we reopen we're trying to drum up as much business as possible and not deter people from coming to this area and then we lose all this parking we have members of staff that are trying to park taking 15 20 minutes to park and i mean if i was a customer coming down here and i was driving around for 15 20 minutes i'd go elsewhere and we can't afford to do that right now we're trying to uh, get back on top after all these closures so yeah we need the parking yeah it's been a really difficult time for you guys in general right yeah as i say we've just reopened after seven or eight weeks so uh, we're really trying to get back on top again and we're really trying to get business back to where it was before the pandemic and losing parking is not the way to go right now yeah and uh, matt i'm going to come to you you're from regal beagle yes okay so tell me a little bit about this parking situation uh, same same idea i mean this is restaurant row obviously in little italy or north of little italy and and uh the bulk of the businesses here have been closed as everybody knows it's not living under a rock for the better part of a year so to to have this happen to us on top of it i mean parking is is huge for our customers huge for our employees um you know i was talking with jerry earlier if they were going to do something like this maybe they could at least open up diagonal parking on san diego avenue or something to that effect and when we were talking about doing it with sandag years ago that was the idea that they were going to you know the bike lane was going to come but they were going to open up other parking in the neighborhood so we'd like to see that did you get any notice that they were going to put in this bike not lane? at all no just showed up overnight and how does it affect your business? Have you already seen the difference? I mean, business has been affected for various other reasons for the past yeah. 11 months or 10 months now. And, and now, yes, having less availability for parking is not a good thing. Yeah, which is really tough. And, and uh, here, Jennifer, I'll come, to, I'll come to you really quick as well. You're from El Indio. How, how does this affect your business? It's detrimental. It's horrible. I can't think of anything that would be worse, you know? We need our businesses to be open. We need our customers to be able to park. We need our employees to be able to park. Yeah, it's really hard, really hard. And, and um, I'm also, I've got Ian and Aaron who are here from the Gelato Spot. You guys are right on the corner here, so you definitely utilize the parking here. Yeah, our customers and really our employees now really don't have anywhere good to park because they can't afford to park at metered parking for an entire eight hour shift. Um, and we've already had a lot of customers complaining that they're circling the block over and over and that they just can't find anywhere to park. So it was already a problem before and they've just made a bad situation a lot worse by taking away just over 20 parking spots, I think. Yeah, 22 spots. All right, yeah. I'm, gonna, uh, I'm gonna come over to Selena over here. Selena, uh, you know, you have voiced your frustration over this. I know you were in charge of parking for this area. So if anybody would know if this was going to happen, you would have known about it. Yeah, right? I mean, I've been representing this area for like eight years now. I think it's about so was mayor Todd Gloria before he was the mayor he represented our district he knows how important parking is to this area and for him to be the top of this and write off that parking for us is, is not what I um, expect in a city official his assistant Brittany Bailey was there holding our hands all the way through this process with Sandag promising us to be able to accommodate cyclists motorists and pedestrians keeping this area safe so these businesses can survive residents don't get mad because all our employees are parking in front of their houses. This is just a whitewash. This is basically, we don't care about anyone, but we want to look good. Mayor Todd Gloria, if you're watching this, please reach out to us. We've all reached out to you. Let us know why you've done this to us. Have you had a response from No, him? I haven't had a response. We've all written to him. Yeah. Silence. And uh, just so people understand, explain to me, because it's this street, it's Washington, it's going up here. It's, it's going, going up here. We had 22 spaces. We've been working with Sandag for over 10 years now. Finally, we got renderings last year. We got promised in two years' time that we're going to put in bike lanes, that we're going to be buffered by uh, parking lanes. We're going to have a retaining wall. So it's safer for the cyclists, too. When there's rains, rubble comes down onto those pathways. I wouldn't want to be riding a bike up there. We love cyclists. Everyone, Everyone's welcome in International Restaurant Row. But you can't just look after one group. group. And why? wash everyone else and say that doesn't matter and your response to us well actually I haven't had a response but basically what I've heard on the grapevine he said well don't worry about it they get their parking back in two years
Not good enough. For you right now, it's, it's, you're just trying to survive. Yeah, but I've been doing, I've wasted so much, not wasted, but I spent so much of my personal time attending these meetings with other members of the board here. And this is just like, basically, why do we even spend our time doing this when the mayor can just come in and go, I don't care, I rule. Not good. Really frustrating. Very frustrating. Now, we have reached out um, to the city, to the mayor's office. We haven't heard a response yet, um, but obviously a lot of frustration. They came in, uh, I believe it wasn't this past Thursday, the Thursday before, just removed the parking spots, put in the bike lane, um, and a lot of these businesses very frustrated. So we'll continue to follow up and reach out to the city and see their response. Guys, we'll send things back over to you. Ellie, just one quick question. Why will the parking return in two years? Yep because they had worked with Sandag to create, um, it's going to be a parking as well as a bike lane. So that was what they were told. They had a plan in place with Sandag to go and improve this area right over here. Um, and for some reason, they went in and just put in a bike lane. So a uh, little bit of confusion because they all were under the impression that they had renderings and an agreement in with Sandag for parking and a bike lane right here along Washington. Hmm. All right. Well, hopefully she'll get her request for communication from the mayor's office to yeah. figure that out. All right. Very Thanks, passionate. Allie. Thanks, Sally.